So you want to talk about why your Quran doesn't teach your Tawheed? It teaches that you have multiple gods or multiple persons who are God? Like one is the spirit, the other is the spirit? According to chapter 4, Surat An-Nisa 4, Ayah 171, Jesus is said to be Kalimatuhu Al-Qaha Illa Maryam, meaning the word of him cast down to Mary, wa ruhin minhu, and a spirit from him. I want you to look with your own eyes. Do you have it or you want me to give you my I, I haven't I opened it up. O people of the book, do not go extremes regarding your faith. Say nothing about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was no more than a messenger of Allah and the fulfillment of his word through Mary and says. the Spirit. You're reading a terrible translation. That's not what it doesn't say fulfillment of his word. It says, Kalimatuhu and his word, which he can cast down to Mary. So you see, you're even reading translations that deceive you. And that's how you became Muslim because they deceived you. Here, let me show you the Arabic. Right here, see? Yeah, but he can't read Arabic Orthodox. He's learning. So I got to give him a transliteration. Thank the Lord we have one. Innama al Masihu Isa ibn Maryama Rasulu Allah. Allah, that's adding the Tashkil. Wa kalimatuhu and the word of him. Al-Qaha illa Maryama wa ruhin minhu and a spirit from him. So here's a little translation. Ironically, it's telling you that Jesus is no more a messenger, but then it makes him more than a messenger. Here you go. People of the book, go not beyond the bounds in your religion and say not as to God, but the truth. Speak the truth about Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only messenger of God and his word that he committed to Mary, Mary and a spirit from him. So here the Quran and Islamic tradition Gives Jesus two names that it gives no one else. He's called Kalimat Allah and Ruh Allah. The word of Allah and the spirit of Allah. It's, these titles are given to no one else. You can ask your sheikh. Say, sheikh, are the names of Allah, Kalimat Allah, I'm sorry, names of Isa, Jesus, Kalimat Allah and Ruh Allah. He, is he called the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah? Yes. In fact, I have Muslim sources say that. And I'll give it to you in a minute. But my point is, these titles are not given to anyone but Jesus. And it says that Jesus was the word that was sent down. It says, the word of Allah that was sent down to Mary. Well, how can he be sent down to Mary if he wasn't up with Allah? Because if he was up, he didn't have flesh. He came down as spirit to become flesh for Mary. So why is the Quran telling you that Jesus was already there before he was born of Mary? But you just said he got sent down as a spirit to be created in Mary. I believe that as a Muslim. You don't believe that Jesus was there with Allah before he became flesh. So here your Quran makes a mistake in agreeing with our theology. That's my point. Your Quran is confused and contradictory because it takes things that Christians believe, mixes it up only mm -hmm. to embarrass Muslims. Can you show me where it says Muhammad or Moses came down to their mother and a spirit from him? I mean, the birth of Jesus is like a miracle. Oh, so he came down. So you're saying the miracle is he was already there as a spirit and he came down. That means if he was already there before he became flesh, then you just submit he was already existing before he became flesh from Mary. I never said that. That's what the Quran is saying. I just showed it to you. The word came <laughs> down, Ruh and Minu, a spirit from him. So he came as a spirit down to Mary. It's right there. Let me give you other translations. So, you know, I don't think I'm making it up. So if you're God, uh, like... um. Well, I don't believe Elohim? God, if Elohim ahead. sends down something, does it mean that it's already up with him? Yes, if he sends down angels, that means what? They were not there? So God Anything, anything. Down... anything. Like if he just sends down anything, it can be anything. No, we're not talking about anything. So when God sends down angels, so that means they're not really there? Don't use bad analogies. It's not going to help your case. So when God sends down the spirit, the spirit wasn't mm -hmm. up? He can create it and then send it down. You just read the verses where it says... The spirit and the angels come down by the command of Allah. So that means mm -hmm. he created them out of nothing instead of sending down. For, so Gabriel didn't come down from heaven and uh, the spirit didn't come down from heaven. So you're trying hard to deny the obvious, but it's okay. I know it's it's you're in a corner, but that's fine. Jesus, the Messiah, the son of Mary, was Allah's messenger. His word breathed into Mary and a spirit emanating from him. So, and he went into it. Okay, that's one translation by a Muslim. The Messiah, Isa, son of Mary, was a noble messenger of Allah. His word, which he blew into Maryam and a spirit from him, Musharraf Hussein. Christ Jesus, son of Mary, was merely God's messenger, and his word, which he cast into Mary and a spirit proceeding from him. So he came down into Mary and he came down as a spirit. Farouk Malik. So here the Quran takes what John says, but doesn't understand that by quoting John, 
you created a contradiction in the Quran. The Messiah, Jesus, the son mm -hmm. of Mary, was no more than a messenger of Allah, and his word be, which he bestowed on Mary and a spirit from him, which took the shape of a child in her womb, Farooq Malik. Without doubt, al Messiah Isa ibn Maryam is Rasulullah, Messenger Allah, and his kalima, which he bestowed on Maryam, and a ruh proceeding from him. Dr. Kamal Omar. These are all Muslims. Okay, now watch this dictionary, Islamic dictionary. Ruh Allah, Spirit of God, a special title given by Prophet Muhammad to Jesus. And this is from M.A. Kazi, Muslim. Concise Dictionary of Islamic Terms, Kazi Publications, page 57. So Jesus was there as a spirit with Allah as his word, and he came down into Mary and became flesh. That means he's already alive up there. And you know what the further proof of it is? You want further proof from your Quran that Jesus is not from the earth like you and me and Adam, but he Show came me. down from Allah and went back? You know, it's a further Let's proof. See. Let's see. Okay. If we are from the earth, we return to the earth. So Adam was from the earth, he returned to the earth. Muhammad, earth, return to Jesus didn't return to the earth. He went back to Allah, according to your Quran. Mm -hmm. Because that's where he came. Let me show it to you. Chapter 4, verse 158. Surah Nisa, 4, 158. But Allah raised him, Isa, up, and they put within parentheses his body and soul unto himself. And he is in the heavens. And Allah is ever all powerful, all wise. Now, the reason why they added body and soul because according to your mutawatir ahadith, mm -hmm. multiply attested sound narrations, supposedly your prophet taught that Jesus was taken physically to heaven. So he's alive physically and will come down body and soul physically. Okay, but let me give you another translation that okay. doesn't have these, parent, these words in parentheses. God raised him up to him. So where did Jesus go? Heaven, to Allah. To Allah, not heaven, to Allah. Because mm -hmm. it's the difference between heaven and Allah. Now, mm -hmm. there's another ayah. 3.55. Surah Al-Miran, Al chapter mm -hmm. 3, verse 55. And remember when Allah said, Oh, Isa, I will take you and raise you to myself. Allah took Jesus to himself. Now, it makes sense. If Jesus came down from Allah, that means he's not from the earth. So that means he goes back to where he came from. As Whereas we're from Adam, Adam's from mm -hmm. dust, we go back to the dust. So... The Quran only says, and you can ask your sheikh to prove me wrong, only mm -hmm. says Jesus was taken to Allah. No one else is said to be taken to Allah, not even Muhammad who died. And he's in the grave in Barzakh. So here we have Jesus, the only one said, only one, you're not going to find anyone else, mm -hmm. that says he came down as Allah's word into Mary and came as a spirit from him and went to Allah. It's only said of Jesus. So I want to ask you a question. So for 2,000 years, Jesus is in a physical body. Where? Heaven, by Allah. Allah, right? And where is Allah? Above the throne. So you just said the Quran says Jesus is above the throne. See the problem the Quran creates for you? Because the Quran is quoting Christians, not realizing, uh-oh, hold on. If I say this, I just created problems for the ummah. Yeah. Your prophet created problems for you.